हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू एट अराइजर टैलेंट सो वॉट वी वर डिस्कस्ड अवर प्रीवियस लेक्चर इन अवर प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव अ डिस्कशन अबाउट फ्यू ऑफ द क्वेश्चन ऑफ एन सी आर टी दैट इज रिलेटेड टू योर चैप्टर लाइट नाउ टूडे वी आर कंटिन्यूइंग विद द सेम क्वेश्चन सो अंटिल नाउ वी हैव डिस्कस द टेंथ क्वेश्चन नाउ दिस इज अवर इलेवंथ क्वेश्चन एंड वॉट द इलेवंथ क्वेश्चन इज सेंग अ कॉन्केव लेंस ऑफ फोकल लेंथ फिफ्टीन सेंटीमीटर सो वॉट वी आर प्रोवाइडेड विथ we are given a concave lens the focal length is 15 cm so according to the sign convention this will be minus 15 this is in accordance with the sign convention now the image is an image is 10 cm from the lens image is formed at a distance of 10 cm so this v will be and again this is a concave lens so it will be minus how far is the object from the lens draw the ray diagram so you have to find out the object distance and in this question you have to find out the u now f is given v is given and you have to determine the u so what you will apply you will simply apply the lens formula we will apply the lens formula now the lens formula is 1 upon f equal to 1 upon v minus 1 upon u so this is our lens formula now you can see that v is minus 10 and f is minus 15 and you have to determine the value of u here So one upon u came out to be one upon v minus one upon f only by simply shifting. Now v is minus one upon ten. It is minus one upon ten, and f is minus one upon fifteen. So it is our fifteen. So it came out to be minus one upon ten and minus minus plus. This will be fifteen. On getting LCM of ten and fifteen, it came out to be thirty. And it will be equal to minus three plus two. That will be equal to minus one upon thirty. So the value of u will be minus thirty centimeter. So what does what does this value indicates? This value is indicating that the object is placed ten centimeter from the lens. Object is placed ten centimeter from the lens, and what you have to draw. we have to draw the ray diagram for this representation so let's simply draw the ray diagram for this we have the concave lens in this case this is our concave lens this will be our principal axis this is a value f dash and 2f dash here we are taking f dash and 2f dash now this is our optical center this is o now you can see that the focal length is minus 15 and the value of the uh, distance from the distance of the image is minus 10 and the object is placed at a distance of 30 cm so from the lens the object is placed at the 30 cm so we are assuming that this is our object ab and at how much distance it is placed it is actually placed at a distance of 30 cm from the lens now what will happen in this case what will happen in this case a ray of light first simply pass through the optical center and in case of the concave lens when a ray of light is incident on a lens it is simply going to be refract back it will going to refract back and you can see that at some point the image is going to be formed here this is our image okay and this will be a dash b dash so this is our concave mirror concave lens and the image is formed here 
so this is the ray diagram which is representing that how the image is going to formed when an object is placed at a distance of 30 cm and you can see that the image is going to form at a distance of 10 cm on the same side of the lens so the distance is for, uh, image is forming at a distance of 10 cm so this is the image distance that is 10 and this is the object distance you can see from here so this is a simple question which is actually based on the lens formula. Again, this topic is very much important. A question can be definitely asked in your exam uh, either from the mirror formula or from the lens formula. So just copy this part from here. Now, let's move to the next question in this sequence we have. An object is placed at a distance of 10 cm from a convex mirror. Now, what we are provided with? We are given a convex mirror. The mirror is convex mirror. And the object is placed at a distance of 10 cm. It means you will be minus 10. The focal length is 15 centimeter. F will be 15 centimeter. You have to find out the position and the nature of the image. So firstly, U will be negative according to the sign convention. Now, notice one thing here that you are not provided a convex lens. Instead, we are giving given a convex mirror. So what you will apply, you are simply going to apply a mirror formula in this case. So F and U are given. So it is very simple to calculate V here. And how you will calculate the V? Let's see. So what we will do, we will simply apply the mirror formula. So mirror formula is 1 upon f equal to 1 upon v plus 1 upon u. So this is the mirror formula we have. Now, what you are given with? You are given with u and f. And what we, we have to determine here? We have to find out the value of v in this case. So 1 upon v came out to be 1 upon f minus 1 upon u. Now, what is the focal length in this case? The focal length is 15 in this case. And what is the value of u? u is minus 10 in this case. So minus and minus 1 upon 10. LCM of 15 and 10 came out to be 30 again and it will be equal to 2 minus minus 3. So it will be equal to 2 plus 3 upon 30. 6 upon 30 and it came out to be so it is 6 upon 30 so 1 upon v will be equal to 6 upon 30 and it came out to be v equal to 30 upon 6 sorry 30 upon 5 3 plus 2 equal to 5 so 30 upon 5 and v came out to be 6 centimeter so what is the value of v V is 6 cm, it means the image is going to form at a distance of 6 cm. So, this value is positive here. This value is positive, it means this is indicating that the image is going to be formed behind the mirror. So, the image is formed behind the mirror so we have found find out the position of the image that it will be going to form behind the mirror now we have to determine the nature of the image as this value is positive you can see that the image formed will be virtual in nature image is virtual image is virtual as this v is positive now for determining the nature of the image, you have to find out the magnification here.
Now, in case of the mirrors, the magnification magnification is simply given by the formula m equal to minus v upon u. This is the magnification in case of the mirrors we have. Now, m is equal to v will have a value that is equal to v v is having a value six. So it will be minus six. And what is the value of u? You can see that the value of u is minus ten. So minus will be cancelled by minus, and a m came out to be. 0.6 so the value of m is positive and you can see that this value is less than 1 this value is less than 1 if this value is less than 1 you can see that the image form will be diminished in nature so this value is less than 1 so the image formed will be diminished so what you can conclude from the uh this solution you can see that the image is going to form behind the mirror it will be virtual in nature it is erect in nature and it is diminished because the magnification came out to be 1 so this image will be erect and diminished and it is going to form behind the mirror so this is a simple question that is based on the mirror formula so just copy this part from here now let's move to the next problem in this sequence the magnification produced by a plane mirror is plus 1 and what does this mean so what you are given with we have provided a value of magnification only magnification m is plus 1 now what does this statement mean so you know that m is having a formula that is equal to h dash upon h this is the formula for magnification we have now this h dash will be the height of image this is the height of image and h is the height of object okay so if m equal to 1 then h dash upon h equal to 1 and simply i can write that h dash will be equal to h because m is having a value 1 so it means this value is indicating that if m equal to 1 the height of the image and the height of the object is exactly same this is same so height of the image will be exactly same as that of the object similarly magnification of mirror will having a formula that is equal to minus v upon u this is also the formula we have and you can see that the magnification came out to be positive this is plus 1 here so you can say that this is forming the erect image this is forming the erect image so if the magnification is plus 1 it means the height of the image will be exactly same as that of the object and it is going to form the erect image so this is again a very interesting question you have and it is different question uh, uh, the questions we are dealing previously so just copy this part from here because these are very important ncert solutions we have now let's move to the next question in this series 14 question again it is based on the mirror formula we have so what we are given with an object of size 5 cm in length is placed at a distance of 20 cm in the front of convex mirror so you are given with a convex mirror so firstly the mirror is convex mirror now the object of size 5 cm so the size of the object means it will be the height of object 
height of object that is h is equal to 5 cm now it is placed at a distance of 20 cm in the front of convex mirror so u will be equal to 30 and it will be negative the radius of curvature is 30 cm radius of curvature is that is r equal to 30 cm you have to find out the position size and the nature of the image now this will be the height of the object you can see here u will be minus 30 and it is simply according to the sign conventions we are using for the mirror and the radius of curvature is 30 centimeter now before applying the mirror formula in this case you can see that you are needed with f and v so we have to find out the value of v but before that you have to calculate the value of focal length here so f will be equal to r by 2 you will apply this formula and simply calculate the value of f in this case so it came out to be 30 upon 2 and the focal length came out to be 15 centimeter now i am applying the mirror formula in this case and the mirror formula is 1 upon f equal to 1 upon v plus 1 upon u this is the mirror formula so what you can see here 1 upon v 1 upon v you have to find out so 1 upon v will be equal to 1 upon f minus 1 upon u what is the value of f in this case it is 15 so it is 1 upon 15 minus minus 1 upon 30 okay now 1 upon 15 plus 1 upon 30 again LCM came out to be 30 and what you will get here you will get here 2 plus 1 so it will be 3 upon 30 and the value of V came out to be 30 upon 3 and it is 10 centimeter so what I am getting V here V I am getting here 10 centimeter now we have find out the value of v and what you have to determine now you have to calculate the value of m and m is the magnification produced by the mirror and it is given by the formula minus v upon u so simply substitute these values here now the value of v is minus 10 minus sign for the magnification and v will be 10 and what is the value of u here u is minus 30 so minus 10 upon minus 30 minus will be cancelled by minus 0 will be cancelled by 0 and 1 upon 3 came out to be 0 0.33 so the magnification produced will be 0 0.33 now magnification is also having a formula that is h dash upon h now you can see that the magnification came out to be 0.33 and what is the height of the object in this case this is 5 and you have to determine the height of the image here so it came out to be h dash upon 5 so it will be the rest of the part I am solving here h dash came out to be 0 0.33 into 5 so it will be equal to 1.65 meter 1.65 centimeter so what we have calculated in this part you can see that firstly i have calculated the value of v v means where the image is going to form the image is going to form at a distance of 10 centimeter so this part we have calculated then we have calculated the magnification of the mirror it came out to be 0.33 this is m and thirdly we have calculated the height of the image and the height of the image came out to be 1.65 now I have to determine the position image of the image and 
its nature and size. So, position of the image is 10 centimeter and what will be the nature and size? Just copy this from here so we, I can describe you where the image is formed. Now, the next question is an object of size 5 centimeter in length. So, what is given here? We are given with the size of the object and it is actually the height of the object. It is 5 centimeter. Now, it is placed at a distance of 20 centimeter in the front of convex mirror and you are given with a convex mirror. Now, it is placed at a distance that is the object distance is 20 centimeter in this case. So, you will be minus 20 and this will be in accordance with the sign convention. Now, you can see that the radius of curvature is 30 centimeter. So, you are now going to determine the value of f from here. f will be equal to r by 2 and simply it came out to be 30 upon 2 that is equal to 15 centimeter. So, it will be the focal length of the convex mirror. Now, you have to find out the position of the image. The position of the image can be simply determined by using the mirror formula. And what is the mirror formula? It is 1 upon f equal to 1 upon v plus 1 upon u. This is the mirror formula we have. Now, f is given, u is given. And what we have to determine? We have to simply determine the value of v in this case. So, it came out to be 1 upon 15 equal to 1 upon v plus u is minus 20. So, it is minus 1 upon 20. Now, 1 upon v will be 1 upon 15 plus 1 upon 20. And what will be the LCM in this case? 15 and 20 will having an, having an LCM 60. So, it will be 4 and it came out to be 3 and 1 upon v will be equal to 7 upon 60. Now, the value of v will be 60 upon 7 and if I am going to divide this term, I will get here 7, 8 are 56, 7, 5 are 35, approximately equal to 8.55 meter. So, you can see that image is going to be situated at a distance of 8.55 meters. So, the distance of the image will be 8.55. Now, we have to determine the nature and the size of the image. So, it can be only determined by using the formula for magnification and it is minus V upon U. This is the magnification for the mirror. Now, M is equal to minus V. V is 8.55. And you can see what is the value of U in this case. U is minus 20. So, 0 will be, minus will be cancelled by minus and two zeros is going to be shifted here. So, if you can going to solve this magnification term, the magnification came out to be positive in this case. Magnification will be positive. Now, again if I am going to calculate the magnification, we have one more formula that is equal to m equal to h dash by h. Now, what is the value of magnification? The magnification suppose here came out to be, it will be approximately equal to 4, 2, 7, 0.5 upon 1000 and it will be approximately equal to 0 0.427. So, magnification is 0 0.42 h dash will be the height of the image and what will be the height of the object here? You are given with the height of the object that is 5 centimeter. So, it will be 5 and h dash came out to be 2.10 centimeter. Now, firstly we have determined that the object is placed at a distance of 8.55 meter. 
Secondly, we have find out that M is positive in this case. And you can see that the height of the image is smaller than the height of the object. So the position is 8.55 meter and you can see that M came out to be positive, V came out to be positive. So the nature of the image will be virtual and this will be smaller than object. The image formed will be smaller than object and it is going to be formed on the opposite side of the mirror. So this is the nature and size of the image and this is actually the distance where the image is going to be formed. So this is again a question that is based on your mirror formula. So just copy this part from here. Now, the next question in this sequence is, An object of size 7 cm is placed at a 27 cm in the front of concave mirror. Now, what is given here? It is concave mirror. Okay. Now, this object is of the size 7 cm. It means the height of object is 7 cm. placed at a 27 centimeter in the front of concave mirror so the u will be in this case will be minus 27 centimeter the focal length is 18 centimeter then f will be equal to minus 18 in this case and again this will be in accordance with the sign conventions for the concave mirror now what distance from the mirror should be screen be placed so that a sharp focused, focused image can be obtained? You have to find out the size of size and nature of the image. So again, you are given with U and F and we have to determine the V and we are using the mirror. So what you will apply? You will simply apply the mirror formula in this case. So we will apply mirror formula. Now the mirror formula is 1 upon f equal to 1 upon v plus 1 upon u. So you have to calculate the value of v here. So it will be 1 upon f minus 1 upon u. f you can see here is 18 minus 18 and u here is minus 27. So it will be equal to minus 1 upon 18 minus minus 1 upon 27. Now minus 1 upon 18 and minus minus plus plus 1 upon 27. Now, 18 and 27 will have an LCM of 54. So, it came out to be minus 3 plus 2 and it will be minus 1 upon 54. So, what will be the distance of the image from the screen? It is equal to minus 54 centimeters. So the distance of the image is minus 54 and the distance of the object is minus 27 centimeter. So we have find out the V in this case. Now magnification is given by the formula minus V upon U and the value of V is minus 54 and you can see that the value of U is minus 27. So it will be minus 27 so 1 minus will be cancelled by 1 minus and what you will get here you will get here minus 2 so the magnification came out to be minus 2 okay this is the magnification now the height of the object is given and it is 7 centimeter so again we have a formula 
m is equal to h dash upon h. So a, m came out to be minus 2. h dash we have to determine and the h in this case is 7 centimeter. So this h dash came out to be minus 14 centimeter. So this you can see that V is minus 54. It means the image is going to be formed on the same side of the mirror and the magnification in this case is negative. So what we will get? We will get the real and inverted image and this is the height. So you will get the enlarged view of the image in this case. So what will be the nature and the size of the image? The image will be real. It will be inverted and it is enlarged. So these are the nature and the size of the images we are getting. And where will be the images formed? Image is going to be formed on the same side of the mirror at a distance of this 54 centimeter. So it is going to form on the same side of mirror. So this is again a very important question that is based on the mirror formula. So you can see here that how much the mirror formula is important. Now let's move to the next question we have in the NCRT we have. Find the focal length of a lens of power 2 diopter and what will be the type of the lens. So I am not removing this part. You can copy from this from here. So we can solve the next question here. Find the focal length and you are provided with the power. This is the power of the lens. Now, the focal length is simply given by the formula 1 upon p because the power and the focal length are the reciprocal terms. So it will be equal to 1 upon minus 2.0. And simply we can write minus 1 upon 2 here and it came out to be minus 0 0.5 meter because the focal length is always calculated in the meter when the power is in diopter. So the focal length came out to be minus 0 0.5 meter. So what you can say about the lens, the lens will be in the concave in nature because the focal length came out to be negative. So we can say that this lens will be concave lens. So this is a very simple question that is based on the power. So just copy this part from here. Now let's move to the last question of the NCRT we have. So the question number 17th is, again this is a very interesting question that is based on the power. A doctor has prescribed a corrective lens of power plus 1.5 D. So the power of the lens is given that is 1.5 D. Now you have to find out the focal length of the lens and also you have to determine whether the lens is converging or diverging. Now the power and the focal length. When the power is in diopters, the focal length will be in meters. So it is the formula that power will be equal to 1 upon f. So this is the formula of power we have. Now, you have to determine the value of f from here. So f came out to be 1 upon p. This f came out to be 1 upon p. So the p is 1.5 diopter. So f will be equal to 1 upon 1.5. Point will be shifted here and 5 to our 10 and 5 3 are 15. And f came out to be 2 upon 3 and it will give you the value 
जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स सिक्स ओके सो एफ इज प्लस जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स सिक्स मीटर तो दिस विल बी द फोकल लेंथ ऑफ द करेक्टिव लेंस विच द डॉक्टर हैज प्रिस्क्राइब नाउ दिस फोकल लेंथ केम आउट टू बी पॉजिटिव दिस केम आउट टू बी पॉजिटिव इट मीन्स द लेंस विल बी convex and the convex lens are known as a converging lens so the nature of the lens will be converging lens so this is a, again a very important question that is based upon the concept of power so you have seen here the three formulas that is the lens formula the mirror formula and the formula that is related to power is very very important and definitely the question is going to be asked in your exam related to these topics so go through this video lecture very clearly so each concept has been cleared in your mind mind so we have completed our ncert question and we will deal with ntsc questions in our next lecture so thank you so much and have a wonderful day